CSD has a lot of it is about the experience mm -hmm. um, and about almost a sort of sensory overload in the classroom. So what's your philosophy behind that educational model? To engage and to motivate students ultimately, to get them to care about the class, mm -hmm. to get them to want to be part of the class, and to really create an environment that we hope is as fun as it is challenging. Welcome to the 2014 CS50 Puzzle Day. We're going to be spending the day solving puzzles, as you guys know, hence Puzzle Day, eating some awesome food. We have them on both floors. And meeting some cool people. There's definitely a quirky sense of humor that the course has tried to maintain, both in terms of its events and in the footnotes that you might see in a problem set. Um, we've increasingly been in, been trying to instill a sense of community and culture even within CS50 staff alone, and we, this is comes in the form of you know staff-only sweatshirts and T-shirts and things that really makes you feel part of this um, intimate community. And um, what's the sort of preparation for one lecture? It depends. Um, I mean, to deliver one hour of this past Wednesday's lecture, that was probably a good 24 hours plus of effort, and that's not sustainable during the term. I certainly spent a disproportionate amount of time at the beginning of the term getting things ready, getting the messaging ready, getting the content and the syllabus ready, and sort of thinking everything through. I was at the lecture, and yeah. at the yeah. end, um, the audio didn't work. What was your first thought? Oh, happened? I died. I was so sad that um, we we were in such a groove and the ending is one of the most important things and one of the cables was loose on the stage and so it was a simple fix in the end and we can fix it in post-production for the students who might watch it online but I was disappointed like that um, I would much have rather gone out on a perfectly smooth note.